Hello everyone, Corpse here, bringing you another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is actually going to be on uh, Twitch using uh, an 8-ball script. Um, I know there are several out there that you can use where uh, you can uh, request from a specific website and that, but you're self-reliant on, you're being reliant on their website never going down or having any issues or them just deleting the script. Uh, you're putting your full faith into them keeping the script going as long as you're broadcasting well I, I i got tired of relying on other people uh on other people that the script that they had out there and i decided here i'm going to write my own script and uh it's actually very simple we're just going to use a uh, straight php for this um and basically what you're going to do is uh, sort of like this. If I type in uh, 8-ball, um, you put in that and you'll have this thing uh, where I have Nightbot using Nightbot to uh, put out and it says Outlook good. Which uh, I can tell you right now, it's lying. I'm not going to stream again tonight. I've actually just finished up my stream uh, a little while ago. So, uh, but as you can see, if I hit uh, up again and hit enter, which is going to repeat my question, you can see that it's changing ask again later. And then uh, I know it's not going to like me spamming, but Outlook good. And there it goes, it's blocking. Cannot predict now. And if I do it again there, not sure if I have to say corpse is not a god, just pure awesome. Don't you agree? So, I mean, you can add in your own custom scripts and you can use this thing for uh, like random quotes or a random joke and uh, just come up with your own. But for now, we're just going to use the 8-ball, and this is actually using a little bit of uh, simple PHP and arrays and using uh, the array random. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to need to open up your favorite editor. Um, I recommend using, like I'm using Dreamweaver, but if you're looking for something free, there's Notepad++, uh, and there's also Sublime Text. I will link those right below the video for you. Um, those are two good free editors. Um, so what we're going to need to do is, of course, like with any uh, PHP script, we want to do uh, opening. And then uh, we're going to want to close this. So uh, what we're going to do, like that. And uh, what I'm just going to do, so I can save this as... Uh, we're going to name this one uh, 8 ball. Yeah, I'll just name it as this. And uh, here, let me uh, close this, file open. Okay, so now that we have the opening for uh, PHP, yeah, like that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to want to set up an array. Well, I recommend, uh, here, let's go to this place. I, I looked up on Wikipedia, Magic 8-Ball, and they have uh, all their possible answers, and there's a total of 20. So what I did was I just highlighted all 20 to make it easier and uh, I pasted it right in here like that. So uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to give it uh, basically a name. So uh, we're going to sit there and we're going to give uh, message one like that equals quote. Let's go to the end. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here because as you saw there was 20 so I'm going to copy all 20 uh, and do them. So I'm going to pause here and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. 
uh, for you it was uh, instantaneously just bam done so that's what it's going to look like uh, right there now what we're going to do is we're going to want to set up uh, basically the array so what we're, we did was basically message 1 through message 20 and then what we want to do is come down here and we're going to just do uh, uh, let's do uh, random message so uh, rm and then we're going to do uh, an array and now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an array and me I'm a stickler I like to space things a little bit to me it makes it easier to read some people prefer not to but what we're going to do is m1 it would help if I uh, did that dollar sign m2 comma space and then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just copy this because I'm lazy so what I'm going to do is uh, highlight that and just hit that and hit three control V four five There we go. And if you're wondering how I was pacing so quick without right clicking, it's uh, Control V. Um, Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Uh, Control A is highlight. Um, Control Z is back. So like, as you can see, that's Control Z. Hold Control Y or press it and it goes forward. So now that we have that arrayed, now what we're going to do is we're going to want to set it up as uh, have the array pick out something randomly. So that's going to be done just by uh, using, uh, let's do uh, random keys. Uh, and then we're going to do equals. And here, here's the array part. Uh, what we're going to want to do is array oops a y underscore and then we're going to want to do random and if you notice like ran uh random uh, is also used in php to pull out random integers and all that stuff um but what we're doing is we're trying to pull out a random array a uh, random item from the array and as you can see inside the array we have uh, m1 through m20 but now we have to tell it to look at rm uh to get all the information so what we're going to do is uh, just put in those two brackets there and we're going to sit there and say okay look at RM and uh, this is where you can put in as you can see it pops up and it says array input uh, integer random so if we want to have just say um, uh, it display four items we will put in an integer at the end so like I could put in uh, well I'm going to do one because I want it to display only one thing but if I want to have it display five things I could and then I would go into uh, doing echo and all that stuff and having it do that but in for this case we're only going to do one if you want to learn more about that you can go check out uh, php.net um, which I, I could actually probably bring up um, and then what we're going to want to do is look up uh, go over to the search underscore rand and as you can see here's the uh, function uh, for uh, uh, array rand and uh, do, 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 do. as you can see right here here's a good example input array and then uh, random keys and then it says input uh, echo input ram key and then it's going to give you like you have to do that basically you're assigning that to be uh, number one which is zero and number one so it will display one message then two messages so if we ran this script it could say neo morpheus um 
or Trinity Morpheus type thing. But we're not looking at doing that. And I mean, you can have fun with this and go on with this. But as you can see, it is for PHP 4, 5, and it is still existing in PHP 7. So um, most sites right now are on uh, 5.4 to uh, 6.0. Uh, which actually I can't say 6.0 because I don't know of anybody actually using 6.0 right now. Most people I know is using like uh, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6. Uh, but I think 5.6 is the highest I know people are using. Uh, but as you can see, here's my script right here. Oops. Uh, Twitch. What was the name of the folder? Oh, Twitch Scripts. But here you go. And as you can see, all we have to do is refresh and you'll see that it just randomly pops out something. So um, back to this. Okay, so now we have it saying, okay, we want it to uh, pull one from these array, and of course we assign the array to here. So uh, now what we're going to want to do is uh, make it print and show. Well, there's a couple of ways you can go about it, but me, I'm very simple. I'm just going to do an echo. But I believe you can use uh, print with no problem. But right here, we're going to do uh, rm. So now we're saying it's going to be one of the ones in the array, but we're not giving it an uh, integer. The integer is going to be coming from the array at random. And yet there's multiple ways we could do that, but we're not even going to bother with that. So let's do a couple of those brackets and close out. And then what we need to do is uh, basically put the array keys which is doing the random like that. So, I mean, like I said, if you're going to have like three show, you're going to have to do uh, and put in the number here. Oops. Zero. And you start with zero and you do one and then two, which will display all three. It always starts with zero. But for us, for what we're doing, we only want it to show one. And yes, you might say, why am I going into this much detail? The reason why we're doing that is, is so you have the knowledge of what to do. And uh, that is it. That is how simple it is to do this uh, PHP script. And I mean, you can do like random jokes and you can put in your things or you can do random messages and whatnot and put that in. But... Uh, I mean, this is pretty much it. And this is pretty much, uh, I, I would say, almost identical to how I have mine written. Um, though, like I said, I do have a couple of random messages in there because, well, I like to have fun. But, um, I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, the basic script is right there, and that's all you need to do. And all you would do is you would save this, Control S. And then uh, let's uh, go to where we saved it, which uh, I called it 8-Ball. So here it is right here. I'm going to upload this right to uh, my site. And let me hit refresh. And there it is right there. Let's open up this and just remove this and hit enter. And now as you can see, here's our script working. So, I mean, that is all that is needed to create your own uh, random script. Now you're going to say, okay, well, now we have that written. How do I get it to work on Nightbot? Here's Nightbot beta. This is the beta. Uh, this is the new Nightbot. But basically, uh, the command line I used is uh, right here. And it says dollar sign user ask. And what this will do is display their name. So if I type it in, it will say join a corpse, ask, and then the query. The query is going to be their question, whatever they type in. And then I, I just did some fancy thing, but you could do whatever you want 
here to space it, do a couple double dashes or whatnot, it's up to you. And then what you want to do is the new URL fetch. That's how they're using it. And as you can see, you just do a dollar sign, then the round the bracket, then you do URL fetch, and then you put in a space, and then you put in the direct URL to your website or where you have uh, uh, this. Oops. But you can see I have mine at headshotdomain.net, twitch underscore scripts, forward slash corpse eight ball dot php. And then you just end it with the closing curl, uh, rounded bracket. I don't, I'm not really sure what they're called. I, I just, I call them all brackets. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And then you can set user level and all that. And then you just click submit. And that's it. And uh, now if somebody types in uh, exclamation point eight ball and then a uh, question, it will randomly pull from here. It will sit there and display whatever is typed here. So, I mean, that is all that's needed to make your own eight ball script. Uh, granted, I, I, you will need to be hosting this on your site. Um, So, I mean, if you guys are still having problems writing your own uh, script or whatnot, uh, feel free to contact me. You can contact me through my website, headshotdomain.net. Uh, if you see me on TeamSpeak, feel free to hop on to our TeamSpeak. Our TeamSpeak information is on our website. Um, but this is very basic uh, PHP, very simple, very quick. Uh, heck, you can even use uh, like Notepad or WordPad to write up this. All you would have to do is make sure you just change the file type from uh, TXT to PHP. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Good luck and uh, have fun and uh, enjoy.